ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to something new, something a bit different. So this is uh, going to be a battle report, um, which is not something that I usually do for an individual game, uh, but this is a bit different because it's not for fantasy battles, the Ninth Age fantasy battles, it's for the Ninth Age skirmish campaign which is a game that I have uh, uh, written the rules for myself, uh, along with some friends. And uh, I've been playing a campaign um, with it for a long while. I, I made, did a Paint Desk Ramblings episode, where I uh, rambled a bit about the rules. And uh, I was asked there to uh, do a battle report for it too. So this Wednesday, I uh, met up with some friends at a, lo at a local local club, and uh, we had a game as we do every other week or so. So, uh, this is the table that we set up. We went for a more uh, nature build than, than we usually usually do. We often have a lot more buildings and like a, a city ruin landscape, but uh, for some various reasons we elected to go with more of a forest and uh, hilly um, landscape out on the countryside I guess. Uh, a big tower in the middle but uh, not much else in terms of buildings. Uh, I'm using my uh, vermin swarm, the Hairs of Avras uh, warband. They are deployed over here in the left. And I'm facing off, off against a group of undead von Karstein uh, Vampire Covenant Army Warband and a group of uh, dwarves from the Dwarvenhold. Uh, they have their main force over here and then a group of scouts up here on the hill. Uh, he had he has uh, Hunch, a skill on his leaders which allows D3 models to scout, scout ahead and he elected to place them over here. Um, so I think we'll go to this picture. So this is a close-up of my uh, warband. We have my two plebeians here in the front. Um, they are pretty pretty worthless uh, um, heroes. Uh, the guy on the right with the great, great weapon, uh, Velseus. Um, he's pretty strong. Um, one strength, six attack. Um, and uh, six uh, health points, no, nine help, health points, so he's, he, can, he can tank a bit. Um, the other is brand new for the warband, she was killed in the last game, so I brought her new, um, Avida. Uh, behind her we have my footpad, uh, Titus, Titus Blackborn. He too was killed in the last game, so he's also brand new. Um, but a footpad is a little bit better than a plebeian at least. He's got two swords and he's uh, hooked on drugs, uh, crimson shadow. Um, so he's got an extra attack, uh, extra movement, an extra agility and frenzy. So he's r running around all crazy and uh, angry. We have a two ratted arms here. They got uh, javelins and shields and swords. Light armor, uh, so fairly expensive. They have two attacks each, uh, ballistic skill four, uh, and yeah, they are, they are pretty good. We have two vermin guard, uh, more henchmen. They have uh, heavy armor, shield, halberd, and uh, helmets. Uh, one attack each, excess strength, uh, have I rolled up for them, and extra agility and extra discipline. So they are fairly elite, still only one attack, but uh, strength 5, so pretty good. Um, we have my leader, uh, the senator, uh, he's got a pistol, a ratlock pistol and a sword, and his uh, ballistic skill 5, so he hits uh, really well with that pistol, as we will see later. We have my wizard, uh, Faustus Silverpelt, 
uh, he's got a staff and he's got uh, two spells on witchcraft, uh, evil eye and twisted effigy and they do exactly what they do in fantasy battles so one is a little modifier to movement and the other is a it shuts down shooting which is a great spell in this game and finally we have my hireling uh, a Kasari merchant down here he's the only part of this warband uh, so that I, I can buy drugs drugs uh, a lot cheaper to give to my different models uh, so that's me uh, we'll have a look at the different warbands and then I'll, then I'll talk a bit about deployment so here we have the uh, undead the vampire covenant uh, they have a zombie ogre three dogs two zombies uh, these two were blood servants so heroes uh, they had bows uh, no those are the two zombies and this this is a necromancer uh, two blood no two uh, ghouls or this um, so fairly fighty to attack poison and then we have the vampire courtier here two axes a lot of attacks really nasty and a uh, a demi vampire here who's got the ability to turn into a wolf and that model stands over here for some reason uh, so he can transform and uh, become really fast and quite dangerous in close combat so that's them uh, and then the dwarves uh, we have two seekers who are absolute beasts in combat this one has nine ten uh, health points and this one has four attacks with a strength four one of them is resilience four and resilience five uh, they, they are they are utterly horrible um, and we have have an engineer here who's the general general uh, his uh, Thane was killed in the previous game so this guy took up the burden this guy over here is a cl clan marksman that has become a hero he's pretty good uh, let's see oh uh, we'll go back to this first picture so and he's got this group of three clan uh, marksmen over here uh, with the crossbows they shoot all okay they haven't got anything any better at it so they are ballistic skills three so they don't hit that well however they have good gear they have uh, heavy armor and shields and they got two attacks each strength four and they are, they are absolute beasts in combat um, but uh, also shoot a bit so deployment i i picked the deployment zone first so i choose this corner um, the reason for that is this scenario we have we're playing the a scenario called Kleppas chests so we have one two three four five chests spread out on the table we don't know what's in them uh, there were eight chests to randomize from and two of those eight contained a small treasure worth 10 points one of them contained a treasure map uh, that gave you a lot of extra dice when uh, after the game to uh, get get more points to, uh, to yeah to expand your warband. One of them had some drugs in them. Uh, two of them had portals, which were are really fun. Uh, you, you can move across the battlefield using those. Uh, one of them had a beast in it that uh, uh, bit you when you open it, and one of them had a bomb in it. So we didn't know which ones were which, um, but we wanted to explore as many of them as possible and when you walk up to them you can either uh, smash them um, but you risk destroying what's inside if it's valuable uh, or you could uh, open them uh, with some benefits to each and the, the, bo both of the options so I picked this side because it was close to two of the chests uh, I was thinking about going with this one I also had this one in close proximity and I could probably claim this one as well what I didn't consider was that uh, the, the dwarves had this hunch ability so they scouted up to this place and that meant that all of this area was really tricky to get to because they had a good firing uh, range here uh, and also I failed to get first turn instead they I actually got last turn uh, and instead the vampire 
vampire player moved up aggressively here as we, we will see. So that was my thoughts on going into the battle. Uh, we'll move on. So here is after the first turn. You can see the uh, demi vampire and uh, the three wolves have, have uh, shot up here. Um, I moved most of my. Actually, I think this is a bit later. Maybe, maybe, maybe the second turn or something like that. Uh, the dwarfs up here, they fired really well in the first turn on the vampire here. Um, hit on sixes, all three of them, all three hit. Uh, one of them fired at my uh, uh, rats instead. Uh, that one didn't wound both of the ones that fired at the vampire wounded. And the vampire was almost killed. Uh, so that was scary for him. Uh, and I, as I said, these guys pushed so aggressively here that I decided to slink away this way, uh, take this chest and try to fight the dwarves for the chest that wa was here in the in the forest. Uh, so that's that. Here you can see the um, the engineer has moved up to, up to this uh, tower as well, and the seekers are remaining with the. Clan, clan marksman hero to defend the chest. Um, yeah, I'm moving in on on them, on the dwarves. The vampire here moved up to the chest and uh, hid behind it. Had a look at, uh, at uh, what's inside. He tried to climb up here uh, uh, to the hill, but failed mostly. Uh, the the uh, zombie ogre moved over here too, and that's a scary model, which is a big reason why I didn't want to want to go that way. So this is a bit later. Um, the dwarf player he uh, got a bit worried about um, my assault on his flank. So he retreated down from this uh, this tower. So you can see the one of the class marksmen I see or an engineer is back down. Uh, and I I took the risk of um, moving for ahead. I, I hid, had hid behind the forest for a turn. Uh, you can't see through a forest. You can see in a, out of, uh, in a, into it or out of it, but not through it. Uh, so you couldn't see me. But I I uh, took the risk and moved up here knowing that he could could charge me. Uh, I got a bit lucky though. Uh, this guy back here, he threw his javelin at the dwarf and hit and wounded. Caused a few wounds. He had uh, nine health points though, so he, he was still standing. But my senator drew his pistol and uh, also hit and wounded, um, which was great. Brought him down to one health point remaining and, and stunned. So he, could, he couldn't charge me in the next turn. So then there was only really one seeker that I had to deal with. So this is how it looked from above. Uh, you can see that they have moved down here, the clan marksman. Over here, my uh, my wizard has been charged by one of the dire wolves. And my, uh, my footpad, Titus Blackborn, is all the way, way over here. He's, um, he got some buffs to movement from the wizard and he's al already at um, 14 march move by default due to the drugs he's taken. So that's neat. So he's run across the table to us, uh, to sneak up on the, on the dwarf carrying the treasure who can only mo move uh, 3 inches. Uh, the vampire stayed behind a little while as now he leapt to 9 hell points. Uh, he sent the ghoul up here to grab the chest. So combat. Uh, yeah, this is a fair bit later. We'll go back to this picture. So what happened here was uh, this dwarf took the, uh, the chest and moved away. Uh, and the one remaining seeker charged into 
the plebeian here, which was perfect for me. Uh, she's got a spear, so she get, gets to attack at least, and she's uh, disposable. So I, I'm happy with that. Uh, and in my turn, I, he also moved up the shooters, the clan marksman here, and the engineer up to defend this guy, uh, who was then uh, knocked down. So in my turn, I charged uh, one of the uh, vermin guard into the engineer, and I charged the this plebeian uh, Velseus with the great weapon into the uh, dwarf that's, that was knocked down. Which is a, it's a great target for him because he's strength six. But only one attack, but since he's knocked down, he hit automatically, so I had a good chance to take him out. And the rest of the guys charged into the into the seeker, who had charged uh, this plebeian. Uh, she managed to survive. Um, he had four attacks on her, but rolled a bit poorly. So I survived. Uh, And then when I charged in with all of these three guys, I managed to take him out. It was just, though, it was the last attacks with the senator that uh, took him out. Uh, but I got a, got a kill with the senator, which uh, which is really nice. And this guy, he took out uh, the seeker who was laying down. And uh, the vermin guard at least survived against the engineer. Uh, he charged in with his uh, clan marksman. One into the senator, one into the vermin guard and the vermin guard died the see uh, the senator survived uh, the undead managed to come up the rear uh, of the of the dwarves took him out uh, over here my uh, my footpad he charged down the hill and into the uh, clan marksman hero Utterly fluffed his attacks, uh, and the clan marksman hero struck back and uh, just splattered my my dude. So he was gone. Uh, over here, the wizard actually managed to win against the the dog uh, after a lot of uh, turns. Um, yeah, that's a good, better picture here. Uh, I countercharged a little bit here. Don't think I managed to kill anything actually. Um, and instead, he, uh, when it was his turn, he routed and ran away. So to save save what was left, but he he got away uh, away with the chest that was over here. It contained a treasure map, so that's nice for nice for him. Uh, I should have said that uh, this chest that I opened uh, here on the bridge, it contained a bomb. So I wasn't keen on uh, on opening that. that. Uh, but there is some tactical adventure, advantage you can do with that. Uh, so I plan to bring it with me and um, place it somewhere near uh, a lot of enemies and open it. Possibly. Uh, it could work. But I did, didn't get the chance to do that. So the dwarves were routed, and yeah, this I think this is the second dog, uh, actually. Uh, he killed the first, and uh, then another dog charged in, and uh, the uh, wizard managed to kill that one too. Really lucky. <laughs> so that was nice, two kills with the wizard. Uh, yep, that's something entirely different. Uh, so, yeah, uh, the uh, on the last turn, the... The undead charged into me here. Uh, they didn't, didn't manage to kill anything, but I was in a really bad spot, so I decided to route as well. Um, so that was his, it for the battle. We rolled the the damage afterwards. Uh, this plebeian here had died, and she was captured by the <laughs> Vampire Covenant Warband, but I had no interest in trying to save her. She was com unexperienced and Disposable. So I just let her, let her go. Um, and other than that, uh, nothing really interesting happened there. 
there, I guess. The, the dwarves all survived. Um, so he was okay. So, um, a decent uh, match for me. I got some kills, quite a lot of kills actually. So uh, I, um, yeah, the 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 wizard who killed two models, he got got uh, another advancement and learned uh, death death spasms, and new spells, which was nice. Um, and the vermin guard got uh, uh, plus one uh, defensive skill and offensive skill on their profile as well, which was nice. So. That's uh, gonna do it. Thank you for listening. Uh, let me know if you appreciate these uh, skirmish re reports. I might do more of them. Uh, so, yeah. Cheers.